Okay, so this is going to be game two <laughs> of me versus uh, Debbie Down Syndrome here. I'm sure that he's going to probably open Hellion again. I think I might go for like a Roach build here. I don't, I don't really know, honestly. My TVZ is my worst matchup by far. But yeah, like, he's going to open Hellion. He's going to play Greedy. I can't believe that he fucking scouted that all in like that and was so terrible. And was, like, talking shit as he was being awful. He left the party. Okay. Something tells me if I win this game, he's not going to ask for another rematch. <laughs> he's being all manner down in the chat. Good luck, have fun, he says. Good luck, man. He fucking talked shit for fucking 15 minutes straight. Good luck, have fun. <laughs> it, ta it takes five banelings, and then I miss Michael like a retard and still beat him. That's just funny. I'm gonna do. I wanted to go Roach. I think I'm gonna do. It's so tempting to do the same build again. And just fucking beat him with Bane Bus back to back. Because the motherfucker went Hellions and still couldn't hold it because his Hellion micro is so bad. I honestly think I might do that. Because what is he gonna do? He hard countered me last game. And I'm, I'm like running it through my head like. He thought it was all inning, he saw the Lings, he saw the Banes, he had Hellions, he went extra Hellions, he went extra Depots, and he still died. We require more minerals. <laughs> I can't believe he fucking died to that. Scouts it the whole way, runs his mouth the whole way. Still dies to it. Oh, uh, didn't we play last game? I owned you. Okay. Okay, buddy. Fucking lagging. Frame dropping, at least. The SCV scout. I never get this from Terrans who do this SCV scout shit. Your Reaper is going to be there so fast, and it's going to see everything, and the Zerg can't do anything. So what the fuck are you SCV scouting for? It's such a waste. And every time I make this comment, there's some dim-witted Terran who's lost to, like, proxy hats once. They've lo I've been drinking, as you saw, I took a pull earlier. There's some dim-witted Terran who has lost to proxy hats hatch once in the last month. They're like, oh, well, if you SCV scout, you see proxy hatch. Like, who the fuck does that? Proxy hatch. It'd be funny if he two racks me this game. I literally expect an identical build, though. That is not good, though. Early Hellion. Okay. So he's playing really safe. Let's just take a third. That's a big mistake not to make that queen. He went double marine. Now he's gonna expand. important to get map control. What? What is he doing? I need to take more gas. I want to make this my creep queen. Now he's probably going to have Hellions pretty soon, I would expect. One of the hardest things about this matchup, I feel like, is fucking knowing when to make attacking units. I guess that's sort of like something about Zerg in general. Like, look. 
What is he going, Mac? I mean, what the hell? Tank? What? He's gotta be mecking. We require more minerals. I honestly thought it was just rushing out Hellions. They're ran okay, random marines. Just uh if he finds this overlord he's hacking Kappa. Okay, I think I need to make some safety roaches, but I'm supply blocked. So this is like the classic Zerg thing. I if these are Hellions, okay, I'm fucking dead. This is so fucking retarded. Oh, I guess he's one basing. I assumed he was expanding. Uh, I think I'm dead. He has three fucking tanks. He just like one based all in the shit out of me. I'm gonna have to pull everything here. I keep trying to make fucking roaches too. It's funny. Using the control all brain damage hotkey. Jesus, he's not very talented to say the least. He's just. <laughs> I can't believe that was it. He's just gonna. Oh, what the fuck? He proxied Raxes? What is going on? So is, was that just like a retarded random all in? That's what it felt like. Look at this shit. Does he even know I have a third? Now this this will be walled and have a tank. Maybe not. Let's see how much... Well, with double Banshee out, that's fucking tearing for you. The Banshee counters everything, pretty much. I'm so low on money though. I don't even know if I'm fucking ahead. So one of the ways you have to check for this is you just have to fucking get like a ling out on every building. I'm gonna make double spore here. It's not really even good honestly, but... Ah, that's so sloppy. Sort of puzzling micro. What? He's just going ban speed like speed banshee or something. What? I'm pretty much over making spores. I'm so low on drones, Jesus. But like, he's committing so much to Banshee, I don't want to just die. Probably should have just made Hydras. That's the difference between me and a top tier player though. And what I'm really fucking worried about is this base. Tried to do that a long time ago. Tank. He has to be going mech then, right? So low on minerals, it's just laughable. Look at that. I'm oversaturated too. 
I want to go into cancer host here. So, I, is he going into BC? Like, what can he be doing? Look at this. See, that's why you set your shit on patrol. Okay, GG. Fucking dipshit. I wonder if he's gonna stay in now. <laughs> but you sucked that game. This guy lets me get my head caned in 2v1 by Hellion Ling in 2v2. And then he challenges me to a 1v1. <laughs> and gets washed. Fucking retard. Half drunk and still smashed him into oblivion. This is another thing that like shitters like <laughs> This is another thing shitters like this will do is they'll say like oh GG and then they won't it's not they're not really GGing, they're not conceding. And like this guy doesn't fucking like me, so I'm not gonna sit here and type, are you gonna leave? Like, he's not gonna leave, I'm gonna have to finish this shit the old-fashioned way. I, it's honestly my second time playing on this map. First one, of course, being my first victory. Macro horrible here, did I really not hotkey this? That explains a lot. You still suck at 2v2. I'm, I'll go, I'm gonna go shower. Hit the showers. Penn State style. Get it because he got raped. Easy. Watch him just do like some another just like random attack and me die to it. Oh, come on. Fuck you. I hate it when that happens. What is this fucking bush bullshit? Haven't seen this... <laughs> Haven't seen this much garbage bush since the Iraq War. Okay, later. Are you gonna leave? One thing that you'll sort of see that happens a lot with these players, the sort of player who is complete dead weight in 2v2 and then challenges you to 1v1 and gets washed, is they'll, they'll do this thing where like they, they, they love to talk. That's like their favorite thing to do is fucking talk. And then when they get smashed in the 1v1, it's like they don't really know what to do with themselves. And a lot of times they just fail to take any accountability for it. I've been fucking on autopilot for like the last 10 minutes basically. After I found that corner base. Holy shit, this guy's so fucking bad. Like the, I just want to point out, like a lot, I'm sure like a lot of newer players are going to comment like, why didn't you finish the game earlier? First of all, this guy's like borderline AFK, borderline brain dead. And second of all, the worst thing you want to do into like a mecking Terran who's playing defensive is just to run all your shit into him like a retard. I just fucked my hotkeys up so bad. That's so irritating. And like, there's just a little, little Terran lesson here to rustle the jimmies. If you go mech Terran, it's actually such a joke that this guy could be AFK and it would still be hard for me to finish your game. So I'm gonna wait until my passion host pop. And then you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna kill him with swarm host. Look at this guy. Doesn't even have a natural.
So at this point, I'm just finishing the terrible player. Another 2v2 kid that can't hang in 1v1 even a little bit. Pretty sure he's AFK at this fucking point. <laughs> he floated his main CC. That's fucking hilarious. Imagine being this butt hurt. See how that tumor blocks it? It's really bad. <laughs> I can't imagine like you know, it's it's one thing to like try to spite someone in a ladder game, you know? But if you're gonna challenge someone to a 1v1 <laughs> and then to run your mouth the whole time, get your shit pushed in two games in a row, and then you wanna be you want a big dick and float your buildings and act like Billy Badass, it's just sort of funny to me, you know, like this is the uh this is the sort of thing that you deal with on the two v two ladder. So, since I have some dead time until my Spire finishes and I can actually end the game, since this guy's uh, in the showers with Jerry S, I want to talk about that little push he did. So, in the early game he sent an SCV out and it looked like he was going to expand, and a lot of times you sort of give people credit for doing the correct thing. That's my uh, Spire finishing. And I, that's what I did to this this dunce. I was like, well, I saw the SCV, so he has to be expanding, right? Wrong. Never assume that, especially with people that have a grudge against you. In 2v2 players. Excuse me. That's just like, that's just doubly true. You know what I mean? Another thing you want to do is OV drop on the bases. Super easy. We must. I love how he picked the same map too for our rematch. So he's just floating the shit at this point. So I saw the SCV but it was actually a one base build. So then he showed up with like, you know, a dozen marines or whatever and a few fucking handful of uh, tank. A dozen marines, four fucking tanks, just like in Banshee, just a dumbass one base all in. Where you make a bunch of random bullshit and expect it to work. Well, like, I would have lost if I had gotten super hard committed to defending my natural. But I did the intelligent thing. Which was essentially just sacrifice my natural. Because remember this, Zerg players, if you get severely caught off guard by an attack... It's going to always be better to just sacrifice that base and defend defend from there. You don't want to be in a position where you're trying to defend a huge attack with a tiny army that you know is never going to be able to defend it. So I sacrificed my natural and managed to win the game. Another key component of this game was checking the side bases. Whenever you have someone like this who is going to uh, consistently... Go f go for gimmick maneuvers. You're gonna have to check side bases. Even in normal StarCraft games, you have to check side bases. That's just part of the game. And for this guy, after his natural was so late, it was sort of obvious that he was bullshitting. That's another thing that a lot of people don't really realize. Is that it can be obvious when someone's bullshitting based on what they have. You know what I mean? Like, this guy doesn't have a natural, and he's staying in the game after he's failed all in. Well, there just ha there has to be something up. There has to be something that is going on that is sort of making him stay in the game. Look at this guy. Imagine being this much of a fucking mark. So butthurt after losing in 2v2. Hey, you, uh, you want a 1v1? Yeah, sure. Okay, I'm gonna go take a shower. <laughs> I'm gonna go uh, lose to you, challenge you to rematch, and then take a shower. Hit the showers, boys.
So essentially all I, look at this mark, all I had to do essentially was deduce the fact that he had to have a base hidden somewhere if he was staying in the game. And then after that it was just a matter of patrolling lings and as soon as the patrolling lings found his base he left. Look at this. Like, you actually have to go out of your way to float all your buildings in different spots because you're so butthurt to lose. It's actually funny. EZ20, kiddo.